We're here to talk about one of the most pressing issues in society, and that's cheap phobia. When women find out you're cheap, they call you names. Like, cheap. Look at this cheap skate. Oh, you're that guy who's really cheap, I heard. And they're less likely to have sex with us than, quote unquote, less cheap men. Cheap men are men. Period. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. The Cheerios taste a little bit off. Well, I ate them. That's when I noticed they tasted off. Can I please bring it back? I've been physically attacked in this cheap phobic culture of violence by a bouncer at a strip club who had a problem with me haggling with a stripper, even though she didn't begin her dance until seven seconds into the song. And I showed him my stopwatch. He took it out of my hand, broke it, and threw me to the ground. So now I'm out. $27. No one seems to care how triggering it might be to see a tip screen at a restaurant that says 20, 25, and sometimes even 30%. Regardless of how many things I can find wrong with the service. It's my tip, my choice. Tips are generous at any size. I only do coffee dates naturally, but when I showed up at the Starbucks with my own thermos, I could see the disgust in my date's eyes. Even though there's nothing in their rules that specifically says you can't bring a thermos into Starbucks. She then had to cut the date short, apparently family emergency, at which point I asked her to grab me some honey packets for the road, and she said, I'm not doing that even though she knew that the Starbucks staff had their eye on me from a previous incident. My last date at Starbucks, I asked my date to get me a cup of hot water. I got to run home real quick, 15 to 20 minutes to pick a tea bag up from home. She said they have tea bags here. Well, when I got back, my date was gone and there was no hot water. And I think she never even asked for it. I remember asking a girl to come to my house to pirate a movie and chill. 30 minutes into our second attempt to tour in the movie, she said she was tired, asked me to call her a cab, as if it's my fault that my neighbor's internet was acting up. And that kind of cheap misogyny is becoming all too common. Being a nice guy, I obviously pulled out a map, started explaining to her how the bus routes work, at which point she walked off and said, forget it. Didn't smash. What does hate look like? A sign at Costco that says one sample per customer. Costco's sample policies are nothing short of a genocide on cheap men. Also, when they don't have sex with us, it's genocide. If you're not gonna buy anything, you're not wanted here is an actual quote that I heard from the manager at a grocery store. I remember I was going to the sixth grade dance and the other boys in school were saying, hey, we're gonna go out and buy a corsage. I just knew I didn't wanna do that. That's when I first knew I was a little different. I don't fit into the financial binary. I'll never forget the first time a date said to me, all of your pillowcases are old t-shirts. And I said, no, they're current t-shirts. When I pulled out my Motorola Razor phone to ask a girl her number, the cashier at Dunkin' Donuts said, no, that's creepy. I said, no, I'm not trying to pick you up. I just want you to notify me when the day olds get thrown out of the back. And she said, that's even more weird. And I looked that cashier right in the eye and I said, that's your internalized cheap phobia. He was with me at the time at the donut shop. We were gonna split up the donuts evenly, but apparently in society, real men only eat donuts that were made literal seconds ago. And surprise twist, she also didn't want to have sex with us. She's systematic cheap phobia is nothing new. Ever heard of a little someone called Jesus Christ? Just because Jesus wanted to evenly divide up a few loaves and small fishes and made his own wine at parties, he was called names like King of the Jews. And none of the girls wanted to have sex with him either. Uh, recently, some friends took me out to dinner. It was about a $145 bill. They said, we'll get this, you just get the tip, which I did and suddenly it's a problem that I left a handful of quarters. There was no specificity as to what percentage that tip should be, and I gave what I thought was appropriate, and I think it's a little weird to give me hostile looks and verbal violence. Women need to reach into their heart and reach for the check once in a while. I don't even want to get into the racial slurs that I face or say them, but it's Jewish and Chinese, pretty much. I've also been discouraged from eating meals at Costco. I guess I'll starve. I get... <laughs> Because the world wants us to starve. <laughs> it's a genocide, a cheap aside. <laughs> it's a cheap genocide. It's a genocide on the cheap.